Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be all about me getting my license and sharing my experience and also giving you guys tips for getting your license and also including clips of the day I got my license and like the process of me like taking my driver's test because I did get my license almost two months ago. I am so sorry guys for not posting so much but can I just say going through AP exams the end of sophomore year and heartbreak I've just been dealing with a lot. I've never been busier and and that's no excuse because I love posting so much and making these videos is what I love to do So I wish I had more time for it I'm really gonna try my best to post a ton more once finals and everything are over So this video is a little delayed seeing as I got my license end of March and now it's like May But I was planning on like even before I got my license making this video because I did really want to like share my tips on Getting your license and like just like a little like list of like what you should do etc And also just like showing you my experience because I know that if you're watching this you're probably about to get your permit or your license and so you're probably looking for some guidance and like to see what's gonna happen It is different in every single state in every country like the whole process the ages what like the requirements are before getting your license It's all different. So that's just a little disclaimer before this video starts Just keep in mind that it's always different. Sorry if I look a little rundown. It is Friday after school I had seven tests this week, but anyway, I'm just gonna be sharing my experience of getting my license I did pass on the first try somehow and my birthday my 16th birthday was January 28th I got my permit right on my half birthday when I was 15 and a half. I got my permit on July 28th, but things were just kind of so busy that I didn't end up getting my actual license till end of March. I got it on March 24th. But another little disclaimer, I am nowhere near a driving expert. I still have a lot to learn, even though I have my license. So if you really want like some real like advice on driving, then obviously talk to your parents, a driving instructor. If you really want to know like how the test is going to go for you, talk to your parents or a driving instructor. I am no expert. This is just my experience and what worked for me to pass. So yeah, I got my license March 24th and and this was five days after ending things with someone so I was kind of doing this while I was severely heartbroken and also PMSing. It was not a great combination but at least I got to really relate to driver's license. It was definitely a very weird time for me to get my license. As I tell basically what happened I'm going to be inserting clips that like tell kind of the story throughout. I obviously couldn't film the actual driving test but I'll insert what I can. So I booked my test for mid-afternoon. I don't really know if it matters what time. Obviously you want to go to time when there's not a lot of traffic, but that was like the only available time. I left school early. I missed my last class and I drove with my family to the DMV that I took mine at so that I would have an hour to drive around it practicing before the actual test. My test was around like three. I think I got there at like two-ish. Okay, life update. About She's to about to get, get her get license. license. Hopefully. If this ages badly, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself anymore. Say yes. hi to the video. Hi. I so, can't believe it. This is the big game. Let's hope this ages well because if I fail, that will be the end for me. I will be very, very um, upset. A lot of people a don't pass their first time, so if you do, it'll be a miracle. I cannot believe no, this. Cannot. I used to think about how I would be when I got my license, and like, isn't that so weird, Max, since I was your age? I cannot believe I'm already 16 and getting my license. That's April just 4th, April 2nd, so insane. we have to get it. I'm here. very happy. I also like made sure to, you know, really like clean my mom's car and like get it all ready. Like I was acting so official. I put my hair in a ponytail because I heard that that's what you're supposed to do so they can like see your head moving so that they know that you're looking. And I wore my favorite color purple so yeah it took a while like we had to check in there was that whole process and then basically what happened was we had to go with all the paperwork and like get in this like line but there wasn't really anyone else there and like wait for the instructor to come about to take the test unwell very nervous let's hope this wage as well i mean even if it doesn't you're fine you're good and you'll pass eventually and get your license eventually who cares yolo bye and so i just kind of waited there in the car with my mom this is crazy <sighs> you're like about to take your test okay, i'm gonna shut this ruby we love you either way Good luck. I love you guys. And then she got out of the car once the instructor got there and I was like, okay, this is really happening. And the problem is like when you're so like led up to that like experience and you're like, oh my God, I'm taking my driver's test. It like really hit me. It was so surreal. Like when he got in the car, but I was like, no focus. I want to pass on the first try and I did. But basically I'll get into like the tips and like more of my experience as I'm giving the tips. But my instructor was so nice, really, really nice. And we basically just went around the whole area. Pretty much everything I thought he was going to ask me to do, I did on the test. Again, it's gonna be different. Everyone's experience is different But you know, I did like a lot of turns and like traffic lights and like stop signs and just certain things like with pulling over parking It all went very smoothly a lot better than I expected, but I had been practicing for 
like eight or nine months so I was pretty prepared and then at the end it was really funny because my driving instructor told me the two mistakes I made where I live you can make up to 15 mistakes and still pass I made two mistakes and I thought I was gonna make way more I was really happy but he started as I like pulled into the lot I had a good feeling like throughout the test I was like okay I'm gonna pass but we pull into the lot at the very end of the test which lasted around 15 or so minutes I would say but it's gonna be different for everyone and he told me the two mistakes I made he just told me what I did wrong and so I was like my heart dropped and I was like oh so I didn't pass and he went no no you passed good job or something like that happened and I was like oh my god thank you I was like thanking him so much it was so funny and he was really sweet he like told me hey have a great day and you know he passed me because I just like really did everything that they want to see you do with being a safe and responsible driver always checking in my mirrors etc and then I like ran out to like tell my family who was waiting actually my mom followed me so basically I used my mom's car for the test but we also have another car so my mom and her best friend and my little brother were in the car behind me during the test and they followed me and they didn't think that I would see them but of course I saw them because I had to keep looking in my mirrors so that was definitely an interesting experience they don't know it yet but I got my license I passed no way. I passed <laughs> Oh my god, they're gonna hear you and change their mind. They're gonna change their mind. I can drive on my own! <laughs> but overall, it was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It actually went very well. My family and I got cupcakes and we went out for dinner later that night to celebrate. It was really, really nice. And it just feels so good to like have your license and like to have it done, you know? Like I never have to take another like license test for a long time ever again. So now I have my like provisional driver's license, which means that I can't drive any minors around and I can't drive between like 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. But yeah, I have 10 tips for you guys now that I'm going to be telling you about getting your license and passing the test on your first try, hopefully, if you follow these tips. So my first tip, I know it's an obvious one, but practice, practice, practice. The entire week leading up to my test, I practiced so much. Every night I would go out with my mom and and we would just drive for like a couple hours just really really practice and get familiar with the car you need to really know how to drive you know what I mean like I would honestly sometimes recommend putting off getting your license like longer than six months after your permit if you still don't feel confident you need to feel confident and you need to know how to drive you need to basically feel confident if you were able to like drive alone and you need to be able to drive carefully you can't just get in the car and be reckless obviously but practicing will really help with that keep practicing as if you're taking the test practice all the time especially in the week leading up to your test this second Second one is crucial to your success in passing. If you know where you're taking the test, I wrote this on my phone, drive around the area where you'll be taking your test to get familiar with the speed limits, the road markings, etc. Especially if you're taking your test in an area you don't typically drive in. Like if you typically drive in like a more rural area and then you're taking your test in the city, practice in the city or vice versa. You really need to know the road markings. Okay, what are the speed limits here? Because you don't want to get in the car and drive around somewhere you've never driven around before. Before my test, I drove around the DMV for like an hour with my family and just practice and practice and we had also gone to that area the week before too it'll increase your chances of passing because like you know the rules there so then on the test it won't be the first time you ever drove there third tip which I didn't realize till the day before but wash the car that you'll be taking your test in before the test and not saying that like your car is dirty or anything but you just want to make sure it's pretty spotless because you don't want any distractions you don't want like those like raindrop stains or like any stains on like your windshield or your mirrors especially like the actual driving what is the word for them the people who administer the driving test the driving test proctor well I don't know the name but they will want to make sure that you can see clearly out of all of your mirrors and windows so you need to make sure they're clean because it'll just I feel like it'll increase your chances of passing so try to get a car washer wash the car yourself or like scrub off any stains on the car before you take your test this next tip kind of relates to the first tip but know the car that you'll be taking your test in very well because they're going to be doing something called a pre-drive checklist which basically means you need to be able to point out like everything like your signals and the horn and like the defrost the parking brake the gears everything you basically need to know how to use everything in the car so practice go through all the buttons have your mom or your parent or whatever show you around the car before you take the test so that you know where everything is and it's just what I mean also by this is you need to know like the size of your car too that you'll be taking it in because every car is different some cars are really small some cars are way wider and you need to know like the parameters and the proportions of your car to be able to drive well so really get to know your car and practice a lot in the car that you'll be taking the test in before the test to get to know it better tip number five is be 
prepared to do what they're going to ask you to do. As I said when I practiced, I would pretend I was taking a driver's test. I would practice a bunch of right turns and left turns and they're gonna ask you to pull over to the side and like back up in a straight line. That's what they did for me. So you really need to practice that so that when you actually do it on the test, it isn't the first time you do it because practice does make not perfect but better and as you practice what they're gonna ask you to do, like even practice, you know, looking in all your mirrors when you drive and also obviously obeying the traffic lights and like even perfect like your stop so that it's not like a jerky stop and just really practice and like know what they're gonna ask you so you're not caught unprepared. My next tip is make sure you have all the necessary paperwork and documentation. I bugged my mom so much before the test making sure we had everything. It's on the DMV website what you need to bring and I think they tell you what you need to bring when you book your appointment. Don't come like without something because then your appointment will get moved and your whole mood will be ruined and you know what I mean. Like you just really need to make sure that you have everything because you do need to bring a lot of documents and especially like the stuff for your permit etc and then you won't be turned away and then you'll actually be able to take your test. I know it seems obvious but just make sure you have it. Put it all in a folder. My next tip is get to the DMV early and this is to practice before you actually take your test and also to make sure that you like make your time because the paperwork takes a while and waiting in the line also takes a while at least it did for me. So make sure you get there early. You don't need to get there like an hour or an hour and a half early like I did. I'm just kind of crazy but I would recommend getting there at least 15 to 30 minutes early. I'd say closer to 30 minutes early. My next tip is do not get nervous. Fake the confidence until you make it. Driving instructors want to see that you will be confident driving alone. They do not want a nervous driver on the road because that increases the chances of getting into an accident. Now don't be overly arrogant like <laughs> I can drive better than you. Just be confident in your own abilities of being able to drive. I was so nervous but when I was driving with my instructor I did not want him to like see my weaknesses of being nervous because then I knew it would decrease my chances of passing. I know a couple people who did not pass on the first try because they were so nervous and that contributed to them not passing. You need to fake being confident and I know that sounds so stupid but just really like it's not that big of a deal like driving is a big deal but it's not that big a deal if you don't pass the first time and you're less likely to pass the first time if you're extremely nervous so just calm down and be confident and you should be confident if you've been practicing a lot anyway. My next tip is take things slowly. There is no rush during a driving test. They don't want you to go speeding and I know you might be in a rush to like get it over with because it's causing you so much stress but just take it slowly slowly but surely do all the things they ask you to do don't obviously go too slowly but just do everything like at an even pace don't be rushing to get the test over with do it slowly but surely and you will pass most likely if you're confident calm and you're driving safely and you're doing what they ask you to do and you don't make any like fatal driving errors and my last tip is don't put so much pressure on yourself obviously when you're driving you need to put pressure on yourself to not crash and kill someone or crash and kill yourself because driving is a huge deal but what I mean by this is it's okay if they don't pass you because of something like small or because I don't know you just weren't in the right mindset it's okay you can retake your test and I know that that's not ideal but you might be like a little intimidated like oh what if I don't pass on the first try most people I know did not pass on the first try I just probably passed on the first try because I waited an extra few months before taking my license test but yeah I mean it's a huge milestone so you should just be proud that you've even gotten here because getting your license is like what you all look forward to when you're like eight or nine like at least for me I still can't believe I have my license like my eight-year-old self would love myself now and think I was so cool that I have my license but it's just a really cool life event so enjoy it and don't put so much pressure on yourself and don't psych yourself out with your stress. Anyway guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching it I love you guys so much and I'm so sorry that I have not been posting so much but seriously if you saw my planner if you saw my schedule if you saw what I've been dealing with I have had like no time and that's no excuse I want to post more I want to make an effort to make more videos because I have so many ideas and I also have like more updates on what's been going on with me like coming soon and so yeah just hang in there with me I'm really sorry guys but I'm pretty sure that if you're in school you can understand just how stressful it can get. I took my first AP exam beginning of May for AP European history and I'm praying I got a five. I probably didn't but I'm praying I got one. But yeah things have just been insane so please be patient with me. You guys are so sweet though and I love all your comments and you guys are so supportive and you mean the world to me and I love you guys so much. And so yeah I just really hope that this video helped you guys out because you know if you're about to go take your license test good luck. I really hope you pass on the first try. Let me know down below how you did and also like what was the most helpful in this video for you preparing to take your test and so yeah before you leave please like this video and comment down below I will pass on the first try if you have not taken your test yet just promote that positive energy and also please subscribe to my youtube channel because I make so many other like relatable teen girl and advice videos and I really think that you would enjoy some of those if you enjoyed this video I'll link some videos that I think you might like down below if you enjoyed this video and yeah I love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching and good luck on your driver's test I love you guys Bye.